Today marks one year since NASA's Perseverance rover touched down on Mars. It's been a successful mission, they tell us so far, but team members say even bigger discoveries are in store. The SUV-sized robot has been cruising around Jezero Crater. That's a 28 miles wide. Experts say it used to be home to a massive lake and a, and a river delta. In the months ahead, NASA plans to start searching that area for signs of ancient life. The mission marks a new chapter for exploration on Mars. It lays the groundwork to start sending samples of rocks and dirt back to Earth. Let's turn to Lori Glaze now. She's NASA's Planetary Science Division Director. Lori, thanks so much. So in year one, what's the rover's greatest accomplishment? The, probably the greatest accomplishment in the last year is the actual collection of some of these rocks from Jezero Crater, drilling down into the crater floor and collecting so far six samples of rocks and dirt that we hope to eventually bring back to Earth to study in our laboratories here at home. Very cool. It's about to search for ancient signs of life. If you find ancient signs of life, what would that do for our understanding of Mars? Wow, it would be even more than just our understanding of Mars, but just the understanding of how life forms and where it can exist uh, in the universe. Uh, being able to find any, even some small microbial uh, fossils in the rocks that we find in the river delta at Jezero would be a, an enormous discovery and change how we think about life. Mm, that, that would be really amazing. More and more, Mars is in the spotlight. What other projects need to be done to increase the likelihood of a, of a human actually making it to the red planet? Well, we're, we're working on a lot of technology demonstrations. Even the Perseverance rover is carrying several uh, demonstrations on board. Uh, we demonstrated already with uh, an experiment called MOXIE, where we turned some of the carbon dioxide atmosphere into almost pure oxygen. It's breathable oxygen that could be used for rocket fuel or, or other resources. Um, so those are the kinds of things that we're doing to prepare, hopefully, to send humans uh, in the next couple decades. I know how into this you are, so you must sit around dreaming sometime that the rover will what? Come up with what that might give you an understanding you never, you never thought you'd have? My, my thing I'm really waiting for is us to get around to the river delta and collect those samples mm -hmm. and see what we find there, whether we get these uh, potential uh, evidence of, of the past life. I think that would be absolutely incredible. We're talking microbial life, right? Not, you don't yeah. expect anything more than that, right? Exactly. Probably microbial life. Uh, it's very inhospitable for life today. Uh, very dry, very cold. Uh, but it's possible life started to form four billion years ago, and it would just be those little microbes, uh, their little fossils left there. It would be fantastic. Well, let's hope so. It's, it's all very exciting to watch. Lori Glaze, thanks so much for being with us. Appreciate it.